A huge announcement today by Mayor Mike Duggan. Starting right now, all Detroit high school graduates will be able to attend two years of community college for free. Rod Maloney was at today's big announcement. He joins us now. And, you know, I'm sure the kids are elated, but who's paying for this, Rod? Well, right now the program, which is underway, is paid for by foundation money, but the city intends to use a lot of property tax money going forward. Now, you're wondering, what does it cost for community college for two years? Well, that number is $6,000, and this is going to be paid for for any kid who can qualify. This program is born out of eight-year-old legislation allowing for private money to fund public school scholarships, and after two years, the local community can join in. Two years ago, Ashley Francis started attending Oakland Community College to learn to become a medical technician. Um, it has been um, a stress relief in my shoulders. Um, the fact that I don't have to get into any loans, any debt, I don't have to worry about paying out of pocket. It has been a great experience. She's now headed to Grand Valley State University. And Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan says the city should have joined the program long ago. But the renamed Detroit Promise. And uh, this is the kind of thing we need to do more of. And we're going to build from here to the point where we're ultimately going to raise money so that we have four years. But today, the promise is two years. One of the reasons to do this is to help repopulate Detroit schools and its neighborhoods. Now, for every for sale sign poked into a lawn, comes with a two-year college education. A nice selling point. New interim superintendent Alicia Merriweather says while this is a nice incentive, it will still require students to do their part. But the part of it that's your responsibility is making sure that you have your grades in order and that you've done your studying and that you've done everything you can to receive the promise. And they feel a little bit more pressure since they don't have no excuse. There, the opportunity is there for them. Now, the students do have a lot that they need to do. They need to keep their grades up. They need to apply for financial aid, and anything above whatever financial aid they get is what actually gets paid for by the program. And it's one of those things where if the kids now want it, here's their opportunity. Back to you. Now, we know there are always deadlines, Rod, for parents who want to get their children into the Promise program this year. Is there a deadline? Well, first and foremost, if a parent wants to do this right now, uh, they have to get in by June 30th, what's the, the FAFSA, uh, okay. the, the, uh, for the financial aid program. Right. And that's got to get done and in. If you don't get that, you don't qualify for this year. All right. Hopefully they will take advantage of it. Our Rod Maloney reporting for us live.